I gotta go. Somebody say, I gotta go. And watch this. Let's let's bring the blessing of promise to the world. Then hopefully, no one else in here. Any I know these babies are very highly technical and skilled. None of y'all skilled at camera. We gotta help you. I can take you somewhere. They have a string, a whole string of young kids and they are so into the technology it's mind-blowing somebody says it's mind-blowing i don't want i don't want anyone coming in and this has been not easy work i gotta feel myself that's slow they they bright but they slow i got one who's very laid back because he's very gifted talented and anointed so that was a scary to have all of that and sit still so i'm going to start teaching how to operate because the next level is not a little teeny camera like that one over there somebody said it's not like that little one over there See, that's Moses is here for a reason. You can't set Moses and I am and don't, you know, that's that's not right. And I've been gone since last last Sunday. I have not returned. When he wants to compare the storehouse to an ark. Now, if he if he make it rain today before I get out of here, he better go ahead and let me just finish with the tat tat and the boom boom. I don't hear nobody and the shutting of the door. All right. But I want to be able to catch this ministry up because it has to catch up, or or you gonna be saying I knew Mother Doris. See, I'm talking about not. Listen to this. Yes, we're outside, so we're going to hear all the feedback because the gate has been hoist. But here, oh, y'all can be, oh, wait, hold on. Hold on. Let me just say this and come back. Hello, world. Hello, world. Welcome to the storehouse. Welcome to the storehouse. Get the Lord of praise. It would be an injustice not to do uh, the blessing of promise that's on this day because that number is so powerful. 22 represents light. Amen. And Jesus said, I am the light of the world. So, so we cannot leave out the light. Is that all right? So let's bring the blessing of promise to today. That no matter who's in darkness, tell somebody they're going to come on out. Somebody say to the light. To the light. Amen. No more, no more darkness. Amen. When we have Jesus. Is that all right? So let's bring this light because this is a powerful light that says what? A little one shall and a then what does it do? We'll hasten it all right, y'all can be seated right there. Y'all can be seated. Because, see, I'm moving quickly today because I want you to hear that if I had to hurry. Yes, 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 yes. He spoke those words. He said, he said, hurry to my favor. He knew that things were coming. That if I did not hurry, that I would miss something in this lifetime that would be a blessing, somebody say, for the rest of my life. So I hurried. Somebody said, I hurried. And when I hurried to favor, it not only spared my son's life, but it took me, somebody say, to a whole new level. And 
since God has taken us there and oftentimes I tell and speak to my son and I tell him thank you for being the sacrifice so that I might see somebody say the blessing, the blessing. amen because folks ain't gonna never see the blessing without the sacrifice amen. amen you don't jump to the blessing somebody say without the sacrifice you must have a sacrifice and we ought to thank God that we no longer have to sacrifice blood. Y'all don't hear me. And even your blood. Amen. Hallelujah. Somebody said, I thank him I don't have to sacrifice blood. So I didn't have to sacrifice my son that way. I don't hear nobody. Hallelujah. Thank God that we, I got to say it one more time. Somebody said, thank God. Somebody say that I hurried. Somebody say to favor. Hurry. Hurry to my favor. The reason why I got stuck there for a few minutes is because when I read that one more time that says, uh, I, the Lord will hasten it in his time. I often say the timing of God is always perfect. When he... When he does what he does, things can look so like it's messed up. A dictionary is not here today, but it can look like things is so out of order. And then some would say, where is God? Because things are a mess discombobulated. I hear that. I want to say that. Yet God is in the midst of it because all it takes for God to do is come. It could have been four days already. But because he is resurrection, 15 represents resurrection, he can come at any time, and no matter what time he comes, he's on time. Because he knows when he shows up, everything is going to be all right. What we don't know in advance is that it's all right. But tell somebody he already knows it's all right. I'm going to work with this mic tonight or today. I'm going to work with it. So when he said, look over there and see those words, hasten. I had to hurry. And because I had to hurry and had a season quickly to hurry. Then the word to the people now is that you must hurry. You, 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 you. He done already got in a hurry. He, see, he knows that when I do what I'm going to do, it's going to be all at once suddenly. Y'all don't hear me. He's going to hasten. Supposed to go be like, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Nobody told me. Well, what did he say? He said, hurry. He said, tell the people now, you must, you must, you must. The word to you is hurry. I'm taking my time now, but to you. Somebody say, you must hurry. Hallelujah, because cause it's going to be a strange thing. I'm almost here. Somebody said, I'm almost here. Told you, somebody time me right now. What time is it? Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. 1229, 1245, let the, let the alarm bling. I don't hear nobody. Y'all better go on. Think I'm playing. I told you I'm going to be a Joel Osteen in a woman's body. Y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. Y'all think somebody playing, but he says, tell them, hurry. They're going to get here at 12 sometime, and I've been a done, I'm done preaching. Wait a minute. Look at her laughing again. I like her on the front row. Amen. Tell somebody they're going to be all right. They're going to be surprised. Because when something, God help us get here today. When something is finished, it does not require a lot of work. God help us. Come on, Jesus. When something is finished. See? See? Watch it, Jesus. He's coming. When Jesus said it was 
finished. Those were some powerful, somebody say words. Now hear me now because when he said it's finished, the Bible says he did not give up. Like you understand, I surrender. I can't take no more. This is it. You won. Somebody said that's not why he used those words. It's finished. Hallelujah. But when he used those words, it's finished. The Bible says that he gave up the ghost. Oh, glory. Y'all don't call me. He gave up the ghost. The Bible said, he said, into thy hands I commend my spirit. Hallelujah. That means he came out of the flesh. Somebody say to a spirit realm. Once you get there, tell somebody, you better hurry. You better hurry. You better hurry. Because the spirit don't take a long time. So you got to hurry. Somebody said when the spirit steps in. And I already told us three months ago, because we're almost out of this month. I told you that this year, 2015, would be the year of the spirit, which is the Holy Ghost. Which means that the Holy Ghost will move. I don't hear nobody. Which means, because I told you that if God says, I don't have to lift a finger. Y'all don't hear me. That means I'm not in the way anymore. I'm out of the way. So the Holy Ghost, hey glory, has to move. So... It is not a, I don't know what he's going to do. Never. Somebody say never. Because he's a spirit. And if he doesn't show up, then I don't know what to do. Now some folks, get, they got this thing down packed. They can mimic it. They can do what they want to do. And folks act like, oh, that's the spirit. Oh. Then nobody's body is healed. Nobody's body is whole. People are still sitting. Y'all don't hear me. Amen. People don't want to come out of sin because nobody wants to look deep enough in the spirit to see it. All right, Jesus. Hallelujah. But watch this now. He is saying to me today while I'm coming to my closure. He said, tell them they must hurry. Hallelujah. They must. They must. They must hurry. If I pity pat out here, y'all don't hear me and ain't nobody playing no pity pat. Amen. <laughs> But if I pity pat out here and take my time, it's because I'm ready. Amen. Oh, see, I got one person over there in that corner. Amen. Hallelujah. I already know what God's going to do when I get out here. Y'all don't hear me. I, I already know. See, I don't have to wait till I get here to try. Oh, God, is you going to do this? God, are you going to move? No, no, no. He's already visited me. Somebody said the day before, the week before, the month before, the year before. I'm already here. Tell somebody, we got the, the, the thrill is right already. I showed it to you. So watch this now. As he hurries to tell you, that's the word. Somebody said, that's the word. Somebody said, that's the word. Oh, God, bring us home now. Somebody said, I'm coming home now. How can you say, good God Almighty, how can you say mother is finished right now? It looks unfinished. Well, I've completed the work because the work had to me and the spirit had to become one. So the spirit already, y'all going to catch this about two minutes into my closure. Uh, the Lord already saw in the spirit, somebody say the foundation. So now when the those that know the foundation, the foundation is not this concrete. It's not an individual. The foundation is now, somebody say, I am sent me. Good God Almighty, that's the, that's the foundation. The foundation is this, that if God sent you, you will stay. All right, all right, all right. Somebody said, that's the foundation. He had to let us see it. Somebody said, someone four or five years. Amen. And no, no, okay, that's what that means. Somebody said, that's what that means. Then he said, go deeper because it's got to be deeper than that because I had folks four and five years and after four and five years leave. So he said, tell them like this. It has to be where I'll never leave you, nor will I forsake you. So that means that you've been here, girl, 16 years. Ah! Somebody say, that's the foundation. Hallelujah. Somebody 
somebody said foundation. foundation. It has been here now. Somebody say going on and in another week. Oh, wow. Hallelujah. It's going to be somebody say 16 years. Because I told them that God said take the ministry to Florida. And I'll bless you with the blessing I promised you. Somebody say in Isaiah 60. I'm almost here. So I come here because somebody said I am sent me. He said that's the name of the ministry. Right? So somebody said that's the foundation that he saw in the spirit. Right? Told me this morning. He said girl don't quit on me now. I said God I got you. Y'all better come on. I was tired. I was, I was dragging my feet. I said Lord have mercy on girl weary. And Lord have mercy. He said don't. He said don't quit on me now. I said God I got you. I can't hear nobody. Y'all, he said, he said, I heard him. He, he whispered, he said, he said, don't, he said, don't quit on me. Don't quit on me. I said, God, I hear you. I said, I got you. I got you. I told David, I said, David, mama moving kind of slow. I said, but I'm going to speed up. I'm moving fast in the spirit, but it don't look like I'm doing anything right now. But tell somebody, I know what he's saying. And, and I know the spirit now. See, he know I'm getting weary, but that's why the Holy Ghost, somebody say the Holy Ghost. For 16 years, and you tell me if if you all you understand, you get weary, you get tired. Y'all don't hear me. That's why the somebody said that's why the storehouse need a building, so I don't have to set up every Sunday. I don't have to do nothing, just walk in the building. Girl, I'm going wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. I tag you over there because you hanging with me. I'm gonna fly in there. What you say? What what you say? What you say? What you say? Hallelujah. So then I want you to hear this now because I'm closing. I want you to hear so you can see why I know that it's finished because those that have been with me know we have never hit Isaiah so strongly. But the Lord says two things. He says from, um, from Isaiah 1 move, he says, uh, they want my promise. Isaiah 2 move. He said, what did he say? Y'all still with it? Amen. Did you write that thing down? Because that thing stuck with me of what he said. He said, after he said they want my promise, he said, this is what he said secondly in, in, in Isaiah move 2. He said, but they need to know. He said, but they need to know my spirit. Right? They need to know my spirit because somebody say they... They, they, they want my promise. Amen. So to get God's promise, you got to know his spirit. Amen. Hallelujah. Because see, they go, somebody say hand in, hand hand in hand. So because he sees a people that want his promise, and he knows, amen, that, that, that they want it, somebody say, then he said, the next thing I need you to do is know my spirit. Amen. So if you dare come to know his spirit, then he's telling 